You know, just recently I spoke with a candidate about his job search and we had that initial conversation. You know, I asked him a million questions about his background and what he was looking for in his next role, um, where he was at with his process and the job search. And to me, it just seemed like the standard, typical first conversation I have all the time. Um, and I got an email from him about two or three days later thanking me for actually getting on the phone and speaking with him um, and listening to his wants and needs. He said not all recruiters do that. And that really just made me think, obviously I appreciated his email, um, but really I, that made me question, you know, well, what have experiences has he had in the past that made this one stand out to him? So I think the question really becomes, how do you know if you're working with a not so great recruiter? And I think there's really, you know, three key signs to look for. Um, the first one is if they won't get on the phone with you, you know, if they'll only communicate through email. And don't get me wrong, email is great, you know, it's quick and to the point, but you do need to have that initial conversation with someone to really get to know them and how their process works and vice versa. Um, I think another warning sign would be if the recruiter you're speaking to doesn't know anything about the job you applied for. You know, if they can't give you any details or they can't tell you anything about the company they're working with either. Um, and the third warning sign is the recruiter you're working with really should be a resource for you. So if they can't help you do interview prep or they're not reaching out to you for feedback, um, if they're not helping with offer negotiations or even the resignation process, that's a warning sign.